Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I am going to try something I have never done before, and I'm hoping this turns into something that can be fun um, and even helpful to anybody out there. Um, I'm going to pull a tarot card from my tarot deck. I was thinking of maybe doing a beginning of the month um, card pull. Um, I'm still thinking about it, so any um, thoughts or ideas are welcome. Um, but today is the spring equinox, um, so I thought today would be a great day to pull a card. Um, I've been reading tarot cards since I was a little girl. Um, all of my aunties and cousins are capable of reading tarot cards. We've been doing it together in groups and in family gatherings with glasses of wine and reading each other's cards um, for years. <laughs> So um, I'm very, very comfortable with tarot cards. Um, it's very natural for me to read them and be open to what is coming through. And the purpose of doing this is also for me to just open up and start sharing this part, um, part of me, part of what I do, which I never really have before. Um, so I have what I, my deck I really love. It's the Voyager deck. It's right here. Um, it's an incredibly powerful deck. The imagery is profound. Uh, I find myself um, even reading into past lives when I look at them. Um, so it's really interesting. So I wanted to share that with you. And here's the deck here. It's really beautiful. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is shuffle the cards for a few um, quick moments here and think about um, a question to ask. Um, normally when I do this, I take some time to put my energy into the cards, um, and then I think about a question, a question for all of us. Um, and this this is also something I've never done before, so I'm putting myself on the spot here, <laughs> making myself, putting myself in a, um, out of my comfort zone, which is good. Um, I'm thinking of a question along the lines of, um, you know, how can we grow? How can we grow together? How can we move through the divisions? How can we break down the divisions? How can we come together? Um, it's just, that's the question that's coming. So I'm asking the cards. I'm thinking about that question maybe quite a few times in my mind. And then I'm going to just pull one card and I'm going to just read whatever, whatever it says. And I, when I'm shuffling, I can feel it. I can feel which card. Um, it just takes practice and listening, 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 being present with your cards. And, and eventually you'll be shuffling and all of a sudden you get this feeling and you say, it's this card. <laughs> and so you just don't hesitate. Don't doubt yourself. And you pick it up and whoa, <laughs> you guys. The card that came up is called Oppression. That is really spot on, don't you think? <laughs> With what the question I just asked for us. Um, wow, this is really amazing. So I'm just going to look at it for a minute here. I'm just blown away by... I've worked with these cards, I've never seen this card, so this is the other really fun thing that happens with tarot cards. No matter how many years you're working with these cards, the cards will come, a card will come up that you've never seen before and take your breath away. Um, you know, the, the division, there's division in this card. You see these lines? Divisions, boundaries, walls, layers, dimensions. Um, it's like astounding how much oppression has happened with our ancestors um, generation upon generation upon generation. I mean, how far can we go back um, when there wasn't um, over 500 years at least um, when there was nobody here but the native indigenous tribes. Um, but even then, uh, there was uh, difficulty between tribes and violence uh, and and struggle there, too. So, <clears throat> I mean, I don't really know if we can go back to a time when this didn't exist. Um, it's, it's a question <laughs> that I have. 
So I am seeing all these divisions, all these layers. Um, there's chains, there's rope and knots, barbed wire. I mean, this is really intense. What's coming up is that we need to we need to work through this. We need together. We need to help each other. We need to. We have this in our genetics. This is in our DNA. Whether it may be right now, this current lifetime is a really happy lifetime. You're blessed. You have all these beautiful opportunities. But this is still there. It's still there. Um, and with everything that's going on in our country right now and in the world, you know, we can be angry about it, <clears throat> rightly so. But everything happens for a very important reason. Everything has purpose. And... What's happening right now is for us to look at and listen to and see that, uh, you know, our current leader is poking us <laughs> and the universe is asking us to look at this now and it's time to heal this for our ancestors and not just them. It's time to heal this for our future generations um, and it's not going to be quick. It's going to take a long time. Um, and we're going to go through a lot, and I think a lot of you probably watching this are already doing this and already going through this. Maybe some of you are, and you are you don't realize it, and you're just feeling really stressed out and don't have any answers to what's happening in your life. But honestly, it's this. Um, things are bubbling up, especially for men. Um, especially for men, because in history, men have been, men have been the ones who went to war and, and killed people and suppressed people and controlled people. And um, so they're feeling things coming up that are way stronger than women. I mean, we were tortured and raped and brutalized, but we both, we both have a lot going on and coming up. So, you know, the answer to that question I asked earlier is that we need to be careful with each other. We need to be gentle with each other. We need to hold each other and keep, make space for this. No more judgment. No more division. We're all feeling this. It doesn't matter where we come from or who we are or anything about our background, culture, heritage. We all have the same thing within us. So it's the sun, the light's coming through as I talk. This is awesome. <laughs> you know, it's like reflecting off this owl right here. Um, how can we do this, guys? How can we do this? Think about it. Journal. Pick up your journals and write. Write about this. What is it for you? Where are your wounds? Ask yourself, where are my wounds? Looking into the darkness is not a bad thing. You're not crazy. Um, if we look into our darkness, that's the space where we find the things that we need to work on. We need to heal. It's a great teacher. It's an incredible tool. Um, we're all capable of this. We're all sacred beings. We're all powerful. We all have so much light in us. So um, this is a good teacher. This is a beautiful teacher. Okay. So thank you for that. I'm going to go so this isn't too long, but I hope to keep doing this in the future. This was a great experience already. If any of you have any, any suggestions about how many times I should do this, maybe the start of the month or on full moons or on new moons, maybe I'll do that. Um, I'd love to hear from you and see what you think. Um, blessings to you all, and I send great compassion out there to each of you for this, because I know. I feel it too. I'm, I'm working through it, and it's like huge ocean waves of emotion that move and they're so big and gargantuan and you can feel them it's very intense so be gentle to yourself be gentle to everybody around you we're all feeling it okay all right sending love thank you thank you for being here